Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of High Coast Harve. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of High Coast Harve. This is the first High Coast review I've done and it's the first High Coast bottle I've bought. Um, well, I don't really know much about the High Coast Distillery. They are quite northerly in Sweden. Um, they recently, well, actually, maybe a couple of years ago, changed their name from Box to High Coast. And, well, they're doing good things. They're one of the biggest uh, distilleries in Sweden. They're about 12 years old, I believe. And um, I suppose their major competition is Macmurda. So, this particular whiskey is 48% ABV, it's non-chill filtered, it's natural colour, and it retails for around £50. This particular bottling is 25% peated and 75% unpeated. This is batch three, it's aged about six years old, I believe, and it's made up from a combination of Hungarian oak, Swedish oak, and ex-bourbon barrels. Should we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. Right, so before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the color. I'd say that's like an amber, really is a, a nice golden hue. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I get is um, vanilla. It's nice and sweet. I get a little bit of a white wine character. I get some orchard fruits in there. There's a little bit of uh, barrel spice. And also get, you know those rhubarb and custard sweets, the uh, hard boiled sugar candy? Get that as well, really, uh, really is nice. There's a little bit of ethanol, a little bit of um, vapor, which is tingling my nasal passages. And also get like a, um, a little bit like spiced biscuits, you know those sort of uh, Christmas biscuits. Get a little bit of that, which is uh, quite nice. Let's move on to the palate. Yeah, this really, really is interesting. It has a nice mouthfeel, coats the mouth well, and a 48% is quite drinkable. It's um, it's making me salivate a little bit, but it um, really is activating those taste buds, but without being too overpowering. In terms of flavors, I'm getting um, a really sort of sweet vibe, really sweet vanilla, really is, really is nice. But I'm gonna need another sip to tell you some more. Yeah, so I'm getting some um, orchard fruits, um, like apple, but as that flavor sort of develops, it turns into more sort of like synthetic apple, like candies. Um, there is an almost um, manufactured nature to that flavor as it, as it starts to dissipate on the palate. I'm also getting some heat. It's nice and warming on the palate. Um, like warming baking spices um, really does tingle really quite nicely on the palate. Then there's a hint of smoke, which seems like wood smoke. I'm assuming it possibly is. I, I don't know where the um, I, I, I don't know where the uh, peat element comes from, but I know Macamura, for example, throw in some juniper because obviously. It's uh, abundant and um, yeah, there might be some juniper in with that and that gives that sort of uh, wood smoke char character. If you know more about the peak details of this whiskey, drop a comment below and, and let me know. I'd love to uh, find out more about this uh, particular whiskey and the distillery that makes it. Should we have another sip? See if I can pick up any more.
it's interesting because I just had that sip and and a sort of a light bulb went off in my head. It reminds me a little bit of a Campbelltown whiskey. There's a slight uh, sort of oiliness and there's that sort of um, dirty diesel oil character. It's very light. It's only just about there, but if I didn't know, I could be convinced that this was a Campbelltown whiskey. It really is, uh, really is interesting. In terms of finish, I'd say it's medium length. It's sweet. There's that warming vanilla. There's some dry wood and a little chili pepper. But it's um, yeah, it really is lovely, lovely, tasty whiskey. This. In terms of value, well, this retails for around fifty pounds, but you can often find it for around forty pounds. I got this on a deal, and it was cheaper than that again. So. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to say no. That was one of the reasons I picked it up. I Actually, I think I tried them at Whiskey Festival some time ago, a couple of years ago, and, well, that day was busy and, and, and nothing really jumped out at me. But this really is a, a tasty whiskey indeed. I think 48% natural colour, non-chill filtered, you know, a six-year-old whiskey from uh, an emerging uh, brand from Sweden is, well, not bad around the £40 mark if you can find it. And if you can find it for less, well, snap it up. This really is a gem of a whiskey and, well, I'm already looking for uh, a good price on my next bottle of High Coast. I can't wait to try some more of their releases and well, when I get one, I'll review it on this channel for you, just like this. If this sounds up your street, I'll put a link in the description as always. And if it doesn't, for whatever reason, hopefully I'll see you next time. Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.